While Belclutha may have escaped the flood damage of its Southland neighbours, it was still touch and go for many residents in the low-lying parts of town. The rising floodwaters of the Clutha River meant that a red zone near the centre of town, where High Street intersects with the town's Main Street, had been drawn up by the Clutha District Council. The area showed properties at risk if the nearby hospital road embankment was breached. Civil Defence emphasised this was not a potential breach of the main Clutha River flood banks, and their staff worked through the night into Thursday, pumping water to reduce the risk. With the water level significantly lowered, Red Zone residents who voluntarily evacuated on Wednesday were given the all clear to return home yesterday. Many roads in the area were closed due to severe flooding, effectively cutting Belclutha off from Invercargill. A welfare centre in Belclutha hosted about 30 stranded travellers on Wednesday night. As the roads were gradually cleared, Constable Craig Stiven and local farmer Elliot Hancox donned on wetsuits to help flood stranded motorists near Tapanui, and they took some time to rescue several stranded ewes who were transported on their backs to keep them subdued. Good work, boys. Yesterday afternoon saw the reopening of the Owaka Highway from Belclutha into the Catlins, the main highway between Matawara and Gore, as well as the Clinton to Matawara Highway, also known as the Old Coach Road. However, one of the roads to bear the brunt of this week's heavy rains was State Highway 94 to Milford Sound, which was badly damaged, stranding 195 tourists who had to be helicoptered over the pass before being bussed back to Te Anau. The road is likely to remain closed until the middle of next week. In Belclutha and Fiordland, the south today.